Google Ads bid strategies for either a new campaign or a brand new ad account. If you choose the wrong bid strategy, here's what can happen. As you can see here, it's a pretty new campaign. And if we look at this average CPC column, you can see for one particular ad group, it's almost $90, $43 and $40. So choosing the wrong bid strategy can have a really big impact on how much you spend and also the results that you get. In this video, I'm gonna walk you through which bid strategy you should choose for a new campaign or a brand new ad account. Don't forget, if you like this video, hit that thumbs icon and subscribe. Let's go do this. So if you're setting up a new campaign or really setting up your new Google ad account from scratch, when you do ultimately go to start creating your campaign, it's gonna ask you what bid strategy you wanna choose. The default setting for most of the campaign types, depending on what your objective is, is to be a maximized conversion bid strategy. But you need to understand all the different bid strategy options first before you choose. And generally speaking, they're kind of broken down into two distinct categories. The first category is manual bidding, where you as an advertiser are manually selecting your upper bid limit of what you're willing to spend on a cost per click. The other type of bid strategy are Google's automated bid strategies, where you don't select that, Google decides what to bid based on all their data points. Now the mistake that people make is they choose the default setting, which as I said is usually maximize conversions or one of these automated bid strategies when their ad account kind of has very little data or hasn't even set up the tracking so that it can capture that data. Generally speaking, an ad account needs to get about 30 conversions in a 30 day period in order for Google to have enough data to be successful with its automated bid strategies. If I show you what I mean real quick here, if you have a look in this ad account, you'll see that the red line is conversions. They get some conversions, but not a huge amount in terms of quantity. So if I scroll down real quick, you'll see they get about 10 conversions a month. Now for this particular ad account, that doesn't matter. A lead is worth often hundreds of thousands of dollars for them, so they don't mind. But I need to be very wary about using automated bid strategies for this account because there's limited data going through it. And if I show you what happens when you don't have enough data, You'll see here in this campaign where we were testing maximized conversions and the average CPCs went absolutely bonkers. That is way, way too high. We definitely do not want to or need to spend $90 on a cost per click. And this is the problem in choosing the wrong bid strategy when you have a brand new account. So if you have a brand new Google ad account, please set up conversion tracking for your account. Often there are more than one type of conversion tracking we recommend implementing, depends what kind of business you have, uh, but for most kind of like local type businesses or lead generation businesses, you'll wanna track uh, the phone calls, uh, people who come to your website and then click on the phone number, so they are two different things because that's the phone calls from the ad, and the third type is the people filling in the contact form. Here is the conversion tracking section inside your Google ad account. I got here by going to tools and settings, measurement and conversions, and we click on new conversion action. There are really four different ways you can set up conversion tracking. You can track the actions on your website, on your app, the phone calls and import. So if you have your goals set up in Google Analytics 4, you can just simply import your uh, goals or events or your conversions as per you know the terminology in GA4 into your Google ad account and they can be your conversion events. As mentioned, if you're creating a new campaign, which is in a pretty new Google ad account, you're not going to want to choose the default bid strategy. You're going to want to, in my advice and in my experience, I like to choose manual CPC bidding first get enough conversion data, hopefully 30 conversions in that 30 day period before then graduating to the automated bid strategies. I'm gonna show you real quick how you can do that. So here I am in the settings of one of my particular campaigns and I go to the bidding section here, scroll down here, change bid strategy, scroll down a bit further. I wanna select a bid strategy directly. And then here, these are all these different bid strategies which I was mentioning, okay? So that's the manual CPC bidding. 
and then these are really the four main types um, of the automated bid strategies. Maximize clicks obviously helps you set bids to get the most clicks within your budget. I'm not a massive fan of this one because it's not conversion objective focus. It doesn't have my goal in mind in how it's bidding up. So I'm, I'm all about getting leads rather than traffic for the sake of traffic. Maximize conversions is usually my favorite bid strategy, but as you saw before, it can go a little bit crazy. So if I click this one, I often like to, to select to set a target cost per acquisition, which is a target, you know, how much I'm willing to spend to acquire a lead. And then uh, let's say, you know, I set this to be $50 and that is what becomes my bid strategy. There's also maximize conversion value. That's really just for e-commerce people where uh, you're sort of ROAS focused and then target impression share, you set how much impression share you want to capture and it will bid appropriately for that. So to change it to target CPA, we click save or if we did want to do manual CPC bidding, we could choose that. And then it's going to ask us, do we want to increase conversions with enhanced CPC, which is kind of giving Google permission to go above our max CPC. I'll leave this checked, checked for now to so, and make sure Google doesn't go crazy with the CPCs. If it does, well, then I will um, not select that. OK. If I show you real quick in another Google ad account where it's actually working really well, it's over here. So here is this account. And as you can see, it's a really well established account. It gets leads consistently every day. And if I scroll down here real quick, you'll see it gets 79 conversions in a 30 day period. So there's ample data that is going through this ad account. And so therefore, if I scroll across real, real quick, you'll see that you know, we're running maximize conversions bid strategy, not for all of the campaigns, but for a lot of them, like a lot of the main ones, essentially. And our CPCs are not going completely crazy. So for new accounts, particularly do not do Google's automated bid strategies because you'll find your CPCs can go a little bit crazy. For new accounts, I, my recommendation is to start with manual CPC bidding. And for new campaigns, you could try uh, straight going to the automated bid strategies, provided your Google ad account has significant data and, and an account history. So really Google kind of knows. Uh, if you like this video, don't forget, hit that thumbs icon and subscribe. And you can also check out my website, teachtraffic.com for more information and our training courses. Thanks for watching.